Many weeks have passed since the dinosaurs began to mate. And now, the time has come for them to finally lay their eggs. Everyone is busy preparing for the arrival of the next generation. The future of their species rest on their shoulders. Many of the dinosaurs use the cover of the forest to make their nests. This female Dreadnoughtus has laid over a hundred eggs deep within the forest. And it has not gone unnoticed. Little does she know that she is being spied on. Once she has buried her clutch, she leaves them to their fate. They are now completely on their own. With the mother gone, the scavengers move in. The pack wastes no time and begin raiding the nest. Each egg is about the size of a football and packed full of calories and protein. Once they are full up on eggs, they leave and head down to the river to wash down their meal. Packs like these are an absolute nightmare for the mothers. Everywhere they go, a trail of hungry mouths follow them. On the other side of the forest, the matriarch is also looking for a safe place to lay her eggs. And it seems she has the same problem. Everywhere she goes, she is followed by hungry scavengers. They're far too fast for her to lose in this thick forest. So instead, she patiently waits until they lose interest and finally leave. She checks the coast is clear and begins to dig her nest. Once buried, she begins to make her way back to the rest of the herd. But, unfortunately, it looks like the coast wasn't clear, after all. A pack of scavengers have been patiently waiting for the mother to leave. And now that she's gone, they begin to dig up her nest. But after many hours of digging, they have come across zero eggs. The matriarch has fooled them. This nest is nothing more than a decoy. Whilst the scavengers have been distracted digging up this empty nest, she has been building her real nest far away from these hungry thieves. 
a clever trick from this wise old sauropod. But she doesn't put all her eggs in one nest. By splitting them up into different locations dotted around the breeding grounds, she increases the chances of survival for them significantly. So if a nest is raided, only a few eggs will be destroyed, rather than the whole clutch. In a few months time, the eggs will hatch and the breeding grounds will be full of baby dinosaurs. And they will have to grow fast in order to be ready to embark on an incredible journey. Accompanied by the adults, they will set off on their first migration to their homeland in the north. This is where the Dreadnoughtus and the Iguanodon spend the majority of their lives, gorging themselves on the thick vegetation within the jungle. However, some of the animals here do not migrate to the breeding grounds. They stay behind throughout the wet season. Carnotaurus, the flesh-eating bull. One of the most well-known dinosaurs to have ever lived. Their two iconic horns on top of their heads make them easily recognizable and stand out from other dinosaurs. This young male has come down to the river in search of pebbles and stones. But only the best pebbles will do. He collects them in his mouth and returns them to his lair. And here are the fruits of his labour. He has spent the entire wet season building a nest. He adds his new pebbles to the pile and arranges them carefully. Now that his nest is complete, he must guard it and keep it safe. Down by the banks of a river, an old male Carno Chorus sleeps peacefully. His name is Chip, and he is famously well known for robbing other males of their nests. He is the biggest Carnotaur in the area, and with the Gigas gone, he has the whole homeland to himself. While the other males work tirelessly building their nest throughout the wet season, Chip spends it resting and taking food from others. He lets them do the hard work for him. Why bother making a nest when you can just steal it off a young, inexperienced male? But this young male 
won't give up his nest without a fight. They size each other up and begin to butt heads. But Chip doesn't play by the rules. But to Chip's surprise, this young male shows no sign of backing down. He hasn't spent the whole wet season building a nest for it to be stolen at the last minute. In the end, Chip decides it isn't worth the risk and returns back to his spot by the river. A dust bath and a nap seem much more appealing. Hidden in the bushes, a female Carnotaurus has been watching the fight and is very impressed with the young male's ability to defend his nest. She announces her presence and begins to inspect the male's nest. Females are very choosy and though this may not be the best nest that she's seen so far, this male's feistiness seems to have won her over. His hard work has paid off, and he leads her into the forest where they will mate. Soon, this nest will be full of eggs and both parents will have to give everything they've got in order to protect their offspring from the challenges ahead. Next time on Extinct Kingdoms, join us in prehistoric Patagonia for the final time. As the wet season comes to an end, the dinosaurs must make their way back to their homeland. And two rivals battle it out for territory. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and leave a comment down below. And please subscribe to help the channel grow. Thank you for your support, and to all dinosaur fans out there, we salute you.